So today we started going to Oklahoma City. First we went to uh, Barnes and Noble. Yeah, I was. I got two books and I read one already. And then we stopped at the First Americans Museum in Oklahoma City, and uh, got a few pictures there. Uh, we really needed to spend more time there. We may have to go back someday. We went to the El Reno. We went to El Reno and played at the playground and saw the Two Access Memorial. The sign is Texas. She's in officially in Texas. Now she's Oklahoma. Now Texas. And there's a dead deer right on the highway. This is my first time in Texas and I bought a cool killer bee keychain souvenir. And it was Yeah, and we saw that hotel burnt down. So the storms initiated at the Texas-Oklahoma border, so we ended up going back to that border. So there were a couple of storms. There was one near us at the Texas-Oklahoma border, and then there was a southern storm headed toward El Dorado, Oklahoma. Again, I should have chose a southern storm, but um, we were closer to this one at this point, and I decided to stick with this. And it was actually a beautiful storm. We were in perfect position uh, for a tornado if it if it dropped, and um, it did go tornado warned here pretty soon. And then I saw a, a turtle uh, after the storm was tornado worn and helped it get across the road safely. I believe the severe weather risk was a enhanced risk at most for this day. Uh, we were primarily p positioning in Oklahoma for uh, a couple of days later where there was a moderate, potentially high risk uh, in the area. As you can see, we were in perfect position that I like to be in for a tornado worn storm. <laughs> tornado warning. This is a turtle hiding in its shell. Quick, Suzanne, car. Okay, never mind. Suzanne wanted to rescue a turtle. Just, just set it up. Yeah, just set it up the other side where it's going. Come on, quick. Car's coming. It's Graham. All right, good luck. This storm was rotating a lot and we thought it was going to drop a tornado. Wow, look at it. This is a beautiful storm. We kept tracking with it as it rotated and uh, would uh, sort of cycle and start to strengthen, but then um, it started to weaken after a bit, a bit and the southernmost storm um, had been intensifying and going into even more favorable environment, so we decided to drop south to the storm going near El Dorado, Oklahoma. And on the way, we saw a beautiful rainbow. <laughs> At this point, uh, I was trying to get uh, south of the storm and behind it, but other storms were popping up and interfering. Ring. We did get behind it though, and I think we saw tornadoes in the distance. And This was really beautiful terrain. We went through some canyons. Um, however, there was a lot of lack of cell service, which is always uh, kind of worrying when there's um, severe weather around. 
So we finally got around the line of storms to go to the severe worn storm near El Dorado, Oklahoma at this point. Yeah, I see that. Look at that. That's a tornado in the distance near El Dorado, Oklahoma. We decided to get as close as we could to it until it got dark. And as it got dark, we decided to go to a spot where there was no light pollution to watch the lightning. So this was another day that um, I uh, spread myself too thin trying to see and do too many things um, and should have known to drop on that southern storm sooner. But uh, even still, we saw a really amazing storm that went tornado warned and e you know easily could have. But I think that southernmost storm was uh, hogging the low level jet needed for tornadoes. But uh, yeah, definitely a lot of confirmed tornadoes on that southernmost storm, and I, I believe we did see a tornado from far away. And after this, we went to Sayer, Oklahoma to stay at a hotel. Ha <laughs> 